I've been testing some LEDs I got from China. These are two 20 watt warm white and these are two 100 watt cold white. And I got them from the same supplier. I got these ones a while back when I was working in the bench lights because I thought it'd be a good choice, a uh, good option to have a choice of either cold white or warm white. And latterly, when I saw that the failure mode of these lights is such that, you know, it's better to spread it over a larger number of chips because um, uh, the whole rows tend to go out when they start failing. <clears throat> I thought it'd be quite good to get a couple of hundred watts for that reason. So um, <clears throat> here's the inside of these LEDs is normally this configuration. You've got 10 LEDs in series in each row, and depending on the wattage of the LED, each of these is a one watt chip. This is a 20 watt, so it's actually got two rows of 10, 10 LEDs. And the case of the 100 watt, it's actually got 10 rows. And ideally, these would all be perfectly matched, and if they are, then the typical point that an LED will turn on is around about 2.5 volts. And that's just at the lowest voltage, but as you it comes up to its actual power rating, these are rated about 1 watt each, at 300 milliamps passing through the LEDs, the voltage will rise to around about 3 volts. So you have to multiply that by 10. So that would give somewhere between 25 volts to 30 volts for operation of the LED. Probably a wee bit more than 30 volts at full power. So, typically you'd expect that if I got a power supply and I hooked it up to one of these LEDs and I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to run this anywhere near its full power because I don't want to damage it because uh, it's not got a heat sink on it. But I would expect this to start glowing evenly. All the chips would be perfectly matched and all the series circuits would start glowing around about 25 volts. So let's uh, try it with these warm white ones. So the voltage is now going up, it's passing 20 volts. And they're starting to glow very evenly. I mean, they all look absolutely identical intensity, all the 10 in series. And that's at 25.3 volts. Now, if I just turn that down to the point that they go out completely to my vision. Still glowing a tiny wee bit. I'd say they're out now, I think they might still be glowing, but it's, tw it's below 24 volts, it's about 23.5 volts they, they're turning on. And um, as I turn it up, well let's turn it up to the point that it starts drawing enough, it, let's turn it up to the point it draws about 20 milliamps. So that's 27 volts at 20 milliamps, that works out about half a watt I think, and that's putting out tons of light, it's actually very impressive, and they're all, again, they're very, lit very evenly. So if I get the other LED that I got at that time and give it a quick test, again I'll turn it up to about, uh, well I can see them glowing already and consistently glowing. So yep, to me that looks like a good LED in terms of LED matching and LED functionality. So um, now let's try the 100 watt ones from the same supplier. And sadly, yeah. They light immediately at a much lower voltage and they light like a patchwork. I'm going to turn this down so it doesn't swamp the camera. But you can see that there are LEDs in series strings and you've got some lit and some not lit and some are at different intensities and there are a lot of dead LEDs in these on this chip. They should, if they were all working, all have come up in a consistent glowing. Ideally all 100 would have glowed at the, the ideal the unequal intensity, but uh, I would have been happy enough if they'd all lit in their stripes and they hadn't been perfectly matched. It means the current wouldn't be balanced too well. But in this case, uh, at this, uh, let's see, what's the lowest voltage when they're lighting? Uh, they're glowing at 9 volts is when some of them are starting to light and you're just getting individuals lighting in. And as I turn it up to the point that it's actually drawing a modest current, Let's do the 20 milliamps. It's 21 volts, 20 milliamps, half of them are not lit, and the output is just nothing like the other LED. So let's get another LED. And it's the exact same thing. It's a patchwork, except it's really notable in that if I turn it down a bit so you can see it, uh, it's got one LED is lit brightly. And you think, so what's happening with the other LEDs? They're all passing that current. And at the moment, uh, it's at 12 volts and it's showing 41 milliamps. So 
there's 41 milliamps passing through all these other LEDs in the series of that one LED, and it, you know, they're not emitting any light whatsoever. So they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're duffed chips. And as I turn the voltage up, the current is also shooting up with this one because, um, yeah, that's just rubbish. Not good at all. So um, that's from one supplier. <coughs> And it's notable that these ones came wrapped in cling film, and that's just not how you ship what I regard as static-sensitive devices. The gallium nitride LEDs tend to use a thin film technology, and it just it's damageable by static electricity. I, I'm not sure what sort of protection they, they include for that, but I certainly wouldn't expect to get it shipped in cling film. Uh, Saran wrap, as I believe you may say in America. So I got some from another supplier, a bargain pack of, well it wasn't a super bargain, but modestly priced, of five LEDs, and again, no anti-static packaging, they came in a lovely gift box, they probably sell jewellery in these boxes as well, I'm guessing, um, but these LEDs are just the same, get the polarity right, that would be a good start. Just a whole random mishmash of LEDs lighting up and a modest current passing and yet, you know, a very uneven illumination of the chips. And every single LED is the same. Just a random mishmash. Uh, I took pictures of the LEDs lit and I sent them to the seller and said, you know, these aren't functional and they immediately refunded them and I get the feeling that this may be what they do with the duff LEDs <clears throat> that don't get used in their, their, I was going to say that don't get used in their spotlights, they probably do get used in their spotlights, but uh, to date I have to find a supplier that actually sends decent LEDs like these ones that with perfectly matched chips in them that aren't uh, half shorted out or, you know, just major voltage mismatching. So um, I'm not sure, I, I certainly can't, I wouldn't want to use these in these 20 watt lights because I get the feeling and end up with less light than from a 20 watt LED. It's uh, not a good result, but there you go. Um, that's what they seem to do with all their duff LEDs, sell them on eBay.